Have you noticed it's Nile week if you've gone by the fairgrounds? There's livestock everywhere. The Northern International Livestock Expedition, yes, it's well underway down at Metro Park. Now, the Northern Ag Network's Russell Nimitz shows us how this tradition keeps the Western way of life alive through the generations. Farmers and ranchers from miles around know that when the third week of October rolls around, it's time for the Northern International Livestock Exposition. A tradition that's held strong for more than 50 years, the Nile is all about celebrating and preserving our Western way of life. It's about getting prize livestock ready for show, taking in some world-class rodeo, and passing the traditions and knowledge on to the next generation. It's also a time to be a community, and that means celebrating together when things are good. In fact, it's as high of prices as we've ever seen. And coming together during challenging times. Right now, pretty much everything is, is down. The cat, cattle being as cheap as they are, while they may not be able to hold on, it's going to be rough on them. The Nile is also about investing in agriculture's next generation. For years, the Nile's youth programs have brought in thousands and thousands of area fourth graders to learn more about the importance of agriculture. And generations of FFA and 4-H kids have had their egg skills honed in through livestock judging competitions. You want the ones that will produce really good lambs for on and on. When I started out, which was four years ago, I had no idea a good animal from a poor animal. Now I can go through one of these contests. I can go out on the range and pick a good one, you know, call them out of a herd or whatever. FFA or 4-H training and a little influence from parents help these kids decide early what they want to do when they grow up and what kind of animals they want to raise. Not sheep. My what? dad hates sheep. Michael Vanek says sheep are okay, but he wants to own cattle just like his dad. And the last boy you just saw, Mike Vanek. As luck would have it, Russell ran into him today down at the Nile. And he hasn't changed his mind about <laughs> sheep at all. He's still taking care of cattle, by the way, and still passing on the knowledge he once developed as a kid in these programs. I guess it's one of the weeks we look forward to all year. I, I don't know why. It's crazy, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning every day and midnight getting out of the barn, things like that. But, yeah, we've been doing this forever. Uh, before this building was here, when they had the old barns out here and we were washing in the headlights and uh, 3 o'clock in the morning in the snow. And so, yeah, it's changed a lot, but here we are again doing the same thing. And now my kids are here at the shoot doing it. And it's, it's a nostalgia thing at the same time, um, but definitely it's a great thing for kids. Uh, there's certainly a lot worse things they could be doing today than being in the cow bar and helping us. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Now, the yeah. Nile runs through October 20th at Metro Park. You can learn more about the week's events at Nile.org.